Hey YouTube, this is the Handheld Dude, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM, right here, on an iMac G3. Let's get started. Okay, now before you start to uh, think of like what kind of RAM you're going to get, you want to figure out um, what kind of iMac you have, because as you can see here, mine is a slot loading CD drive instead of a um, CD tray. Now if your iMac has a CD tray, you're going to want to go to everymac.com, it'll be down in the description, and you want to just click on the iMac, and it'll bring up all the list of iMacs. Now if you go into your, um, to your Apple bar right up here and go about this Mac, it'll give you all the information you really need to know about your computer. You want to match that up with what you find on the website, and that'll be your computer, and it'll tell you what's the maximum amount of RAM you can put into here. Now mine, it's RAM can go up to a gig, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a gig in here. And so to start out with this, you're going to want to go and shut down your computer. All right, now that your computer is shut off, you want to reach around and unplug all the cables from it. So this will include your power cable and your USB cables for your mouse and keyboard or any other things you might have like a uh, um, an ethernet cord or something like that now mine I decided to feed through these here so I'm just going to pull out alright just take these and set them aside And even take the power cord and just set it over here. Now we have just the plain old Mac. And what we are going to do with this is we're going to just move this for now. Put it somewhere else where you can just set it down for now. And what you want to get is a nice big blanket. That you can, because you will be flipping your computer upside down. Make sure that it's pretty thick so we get a nice cushioned surface to work with. Now while holding your Mac against your stomach, you want to flip it and put it down on the table like so. Then you're going to take it one more time and you're going to flip it completely upside down. I'm going to try to straight mine away from the light because it's like it's very hot. It's melted another computer that I've had up here and it caused a little bit of damage. So once you're here, you're now into... Uh, the bottom of the computer. Alright, now that we're at the back of the computer, um, you can see um, just the whole back side. You have a couple little vents here. Now, there does become a problem if you do own an older iMac because the newer iMac shipped with these easy access port or this easy access port to RAM while the other ones didn't. So you had to take apart your whole bottom casing off so um if you do have to do that because yours doesn't have this I'll try to find a video online and if I do find one there will be a link in the description so if your iMac does have the easy access port to your RAM then this will take you less than a minute to do so now when it comes to this part right here it's just a little turn knob and probably seen one of these before you can either get a coin or something you just want to put the coin in there and then just twist it I, mine's really loose so I can just do it with a really short nail so after you have that, you're going to want to try to get the case open. It should either come open really easily or you'll have to use like a little knife or something, but for the most part it should come open easy. Um, and then here is your RAM. Right here, the stick right here is your RAM. This is a 128 megabyte stick. And we're going to be tripling that, or no, we're going to be taking eight times this, which is a gig, and we're going to be putting that in here. Alright, now to take the RAM out, if you look right in here, these there are little like white tabs that you got to push back. You can do one at a time, it doesn't matter as long as you push them both down. Now when they're pushed down, it should come out very easily. And here you have the RAM. This is really low RAM, so you're going to be replacing it with two 512 megabyte um, RAM chips and you can get these on eBay or Craigslist for around $20 like I did these so when it comes to putting them in you want to hold it and match it up with the little pins that are down in there and once you have it matched up and it slides into place just take two thumbs 
and push down. You should hear a little snap that's perfectly fine and normal. So we got one stick in and then you want to pull the other ones back that are right behind it. And you want to take the other ram stick and do this exact same as the first one. Right now I'm just trying to get a better view at what I'm doing. And there we go. Just going to want to push it in then. You heard both sides click. Make sure they're both in place. Close the hatch. Lock it back. Lock it back. Sorry, trying to get my nail in there. And now we are ready to reboot our computer. Alright, now that your RAM is put in and you have hooked up your computer and put all the uh, hardware back in place, like your keyboard and mouse, you're all ready to power up. And if you were running on like 128 megabytes of RAM, you will be impressed with what uh, it'll do now because it boots a lot faster than it used to. Um, so here we go, let's just hit the power button. Gotta love that Apple startup noise. Now normally my this computer would boot up in about maybe a minute and a half and it's cut down to under a minute now. And another thing about the RAM sticks, um, when you get this RAM, this computer can only take PC100 and PC133 RAM. So when you search for it on Google, eBay, whatever, make sure that you search for iMac G3 RAM or um, PC100 or PC133 RAM. Um, what was in here from Apple was PC133, uh, and I put in two PC133 sticks of 512 megabytes so it's now running on a gig of RAM and this is going to be my first update video got to log in here real quick yeah and like I was just saying this will be my first uh, update video for an iMac I hope to be getting a new hard drive and I need to find where I can get some OS 10 Tiger install CDs not DVDs because this only has a CD drive, so I need to find one. I think Apple in FL, Apple in Florida, said he might have some in one of his videos, so I'll have to personal message him. And there you go. Everything's booted. When it comes to this point before with the old RAM, it would be here for at least a good 30 seconds, 45 seconds when it got to the screen, just loading up the the uh, dock at the bottom and the bar up here but now it boots up a lot faster um things will open a lot faster itunes used to take forever with the music i have on here to open especially imovie i'm going to test it on imovie because that one took the longest and because imovie on this computer is just kind of old so we're going to see how quick it opens and it's already open uh on the other stick of RAM it would have taken at least a good minute to open and it's already open up here still loading all this but I mean that's still pretty good I wouldn't even have this for like another minute so um, today I've shown you how to put um, extra RAM into your iMac G3 I'm sorry if I couldn't help you if you have an older iMac um, this I just did it on the one I have here so next hopefully will be the hard drive and then with that, the OS uh, 10 Tiger installation. This has been the Handheld Dude, and uh, have a great day.